All right. Now we're doing free code camp, responsive web design, learn HTML forms by building a registration form. Step 17. All right. So now we're going to nest an input element within each label. And we're going to be sure to add each input after the label text and include a space after the colon. All right. So let's look up input uh, HTML input right here. And we'll go to this uh, W3Schools page right here. And let's just read about it so we can get a little better feel for it. So the input tag specifies an input field where the user can enter data. The input element is the most important form element, right? So it's the most important thing on the form, according to uh, W3Schools. Uh, the input element can, do, pardon me, can be displayed in several ways, depending on the type attribute. And here's all the different types uh, that we got. And there's also a type attribute page right over here. And we're going to have to go to this page in a, in a couple lessons. Uh, so here's a couple of, here's a tip and notes as well. So tips and notes. Uh, we're going to always use the label tag to define labels for input type text, type checkbox, type radio, type file, and type password, right? So we should remember that as well. So let's get in, let's get on to this. Uh, so we're going to put this input element. Actually, actually, let's come over here. And as you can see here, the uh, browser support, the element would be input just like this. And there's no slash, but you'll see what I'm talking about in a little bit. Uh, so what we're going to do is, uh, right after this colon, remember to put the space because if you don't put the space, it'll act like you are, you know, anyway, so let's put input right here. And, uh, just like that, then let's copy it from the closing angle bracket, taking the space along with it. And let's type, let's, uh, paste it in here, here, and here. And as you can see here, we've got some input fields to where we can input text all we want. And let's uh, check the code. Looks good and submit it. All right. Now we're on to step 18 and we'll see you next time.